guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, August the 11th. I'm in the kitchen this evening. I'm getting ready to prepare my vegetable to go along with my dinner, which is just some leftover um, shrimp, fried shrimp that I had from a couple of nights ago. So I need a vegetable to go with that and I'm going to cook the broccoli that I had in my fridge the other day that I never got around to cleaning. But before we get into that, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. If you're just passing through here, that little red uh, subscribe button is right down there. So just go ahead and click on it and then ring the little notification bell. And while we're thinking about it, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, give me a thumbs up because every click is, um, it means that I am getting viewed, whether it's a good view or a bad view. Um, it's called engagement, and that's how we get paid, by clicks and views. So I appreciate that so much. But we're gonna get into this broccoli making, and let's do that right now. I'm gonna show you how I wash it in my salad spinner, and the link to purchase that from my Amazon account will be in the description below. And any purchase made using my Amazon link, it doesn't cost you a thing, you just have to click on the little Amazon link store, and then you can purchase through my store and I will receive a small commission, for which I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. So let's get busy and I'll show you how I wash and clean the broccoli. So let's go over here to my sink. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I have already cut it up into pretty small little pieces. You can see, I want it to roast to be very crispy. So let's go ahead and wash it. So I just wash it, you know, even though this is called a lettuce spinner, I use it as a vegetable spinner because it, it what you can slice your peppers and throw them in here and your lettuce, your, um, you know, just whatever, cabbage, whatever you need to wash. Just go ahead and throw it in here and, you know, just wash it. You can spray it or whatever. Some of the salad spinners have a little release valve on the top where you can actually drain the water out of it, but this one doesn't. And that's okay, I love it just the way that it is. So I'm just going, going to go ahead and drain the water off of it. Now you can wash this, you know, two or three times, however you feel that you need to. So you go ahead and um, seal the lid. In fact, I think I actually have too much broccoli in here. Let me take out a little bit. Because I definitely want it to spin all of this water out. If there's too much moisture in the broccoli when you're cooking it, then it will steam and roast. And I don't want that. Okay, so just go ahead and put the lid on your little salad spinner. Let me scoot you back here a little bit. And then you just press on this and it spins all the water out of it. And there's a little break on it, you can stop it. And then just drain the water off. Actually, you can just lift the, the basket up and see it took off a lot of water. So let's go ahead and pour that water out. Let me spin it one more time. I will try to get the rest of this in here because I want, I want to use all of it. Broccoli is very expensive now. So I went ahead and threw the rest of the broccoli in here because I definitely want to use all of it. So let me go ahead and give it another good spin. I really have to get all of that water out of it. And press on the little break. And there we go, it, it feels fairly dry to me. See, it took out some more water. But I'm also going to dry it on a clean dish towel. You can use paper towels if you want to. But to conserve, conserve my paper towels. Paper products are also in short supply. So let me go ahead and spread it out here and um, dry it really good. So while we're waiting for this to dry, we're gonna go to the next step. And that is um, the breadcrumbs. I'm going to use one third cup of, these are just regular breadcrumbs, but if you have panko, or if you're going to go to the store and buy the products just for this recipe, then you will definitely want to get panko because it will make the broccoli crispier. But I'm just using what I have. And it's one-third cup breadcrumbs. So you just want to uh, spread these in the pan. 
and then we're going to stick them in a preheated 425 degree oven for two minutes. So I'm just waiting for the buzzer to go off. Y'all, this electric oven does not preheat very fast. <laughs> it's a slow poke, just like this Mississippi gal is. Everything is so slow going with me. I cleaned my living room yesterday. I washed the windows and cleaned the window seals and the baseboards and the, scrubbed the floor. You know, I've only been living here a little over a month. It's not even dirty, but I was talking to Zeus on the phone last night. I, I was telling him what all I did yesterday, and I said, um, you know, I cleaned the living room. He said, well, my goodness, it can't be dirty. And I told him, no, and I don't want it to get dirty because it's so much easier to keep clean if you clean it before it gets filthy. So that is my goal while I'm in this apartment. And it seems to be faster too. If, if the room is not that dirty, then you can definitely get through it a little bit faster. So let me stick these in here. Oops, I forgot to take my pans out. Y'all, when I was um, taking care of Roberta, y'all remember, I haven't told the entire story about Roberta, but y'all remember me saying she was the woman that, um, she had lupus. And because of the lupus, she had to have, um, I think it was her left leg amputated. And um, I was not the housekeeper for that job. I was mainly her caregiver. Okay, this is two minutes. But I did prepare dinner for, for her and, and myself and the family, which was her daughter and her daughter's husband. So um, I took care of her four days a week. I think it was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then there was another girl that came in on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Well, she, one day she left, put the skillet in the oven with um, grease in it. Of course, I didn't know that, so I turned the oven on to preheat it, and all of a sudden, you know, the room filled up with smoke, and the smoke alarm went off, and I'm thinking, oh my God, what have I set on fire? And um, it was the other girl had been storing the skillet in the oven with, with the grease in it. Don't do that. <laughs> Even though you might know, you just never know who might come behind you and, and turn it on and could set your house on fire. So we're going to let those toast, and I have dried the broccoli very well, and then I'll show you what else I'm going to do here. So you want to take, um, I guess about two tablespoons olive oil. Let me go ahead and measure the olive oil. Earl, olive oil. It's hard for me to say oil, because in Mississippi we just say oil, oil, olive oil. And then the, the name Dawn, Dawn. Can somebody spell me in the comments how to pronounce D-A-W-N? In the South, we just say Dawn, 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 Dawn. But I think it's Dawn, right? If you can tell me how to pronounce it. Okay, so to this, I am going to add a tablespoon of balsamic vinaigrette salad dressing. I mean, broccoli is so plain and so hated by so many people. Uh, Let's turn it into sexy broccoli. I'm gonna make it sexy and delicious. Okay, so the breadcrumbs should be ready. Let me go ahead and take them out. Better get my little oven mitt. Yeah, they're nice and brown. Look at that. Now to this, we're just gonna throw our broccoli in here after we get it seasoned. Let me turn that timer off. Okay, so the broccoli is dry. I'm going to place it in my big pink mixing bowl. And then we will add salt and pepper, and then I have a little secret ingredient. And I'm wearing my beautiful blouse today that Tammy sent to me. Thank you so much, Tammy. I love it. It's adorable. I know I said, Zeus, I said I was going to wait and wear it on our date. So you get a little preview of how I'm going to be dressed whenever we go on our date when you get here. I just can't wait. I'm so excited to see that man. He is my soulmate. 
I just love and adore him with all my heart and soul. Have you ever had a, a friend that you could just tell everything to and, and know that they're going to love you and accept you no matter what you've ever done in your life or what you may do in your life? And, I mean, if you, if you call them in the middle of the night, they're going to answer the phone. They're not going to ignore you. Or if they're busy and don't feel like talking, they're not going to not answer the phone and then tell you, oh, I was in the shower. No. No, a true soulmate is there for you 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And that's what Zeus is to me. I love you. So let's go ahead and we will add the ingredients to this. So we have the two tablespoons olive oil and the one tablespoon of the balsamic vinaigrette, or you can use Italian dressing, whatever. So let me just kind of stir that up a little bit. We're going to pour this over the broccoli. And now I want to chop up a couple of these little garlic cloves that I already have nice and clean. So let me go ahead and chop those. Y'all, I just, you know, I raised my entire family without a cutting board. And I have tried and tried and tried to use one. I mean, I've had these big old, thick, heavy wooden cutting boards. I've had little plastic cutting boards. I've had disposable cutting boards. I've used even a paper plate for a cutting board, but I'm just more comfortable cutting in my hand. Oh, and these, this set of knives that Susan sent me, oh my word, y'all. These are fabulous. They are glass, and they are so sharp. Now, don't do like I did, something stupid. I went to pry, um, I think it was my tomato soup I was opening in the can one night, and when I went to pry the little, the little thing to remove the lid, I broke the tip off of it, so they're very fragile. Oh, let's go ahead and put three cloves of garlic. I love garlic, so it can never be too much. And then we're just going to add salt and pepper. Y'all, I put my pepper in the one that's supposed to be for the salt because I love more pepper than I do salt. And I love my Pioneer Woman dishes and salt and pepper shaker and butter dish. And I am going to add some crushed red pepper flakes because everything needs a little heat to it, doesn't it? Let me open it up so I can get some more in there. I guess that's maybe a teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it. And then I'll just kind of, you know, this is a lot of broccoli. So I may have to add a little more olive oil. I do think that I might have to do that. Yeah. Doesn't it look too dry to y'all? Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put it in with the breadcrumbs, and then I'll just, um, can you see it? Okay. Then I'll just add a little olive oil. So let me go ahead and spread these in here with the breadcrumbs. Now, you know, there. when I showed you my refrigerator the other day, yes, there were a lot of, um, fruits and vegetables in there, but y'all don't worry, I will not let them go bad. In fact, I'm getting ready to bag some of them up together for my smoothies. So I will just put my celery and carrots and my fruits all in a quart size bag, and then I'll, it will be ready for my smoothie when I'm going to make a smoothie. On the broccoli breadcrumbs, they want to hide on the bottom of the pan. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Y'all, I love to cook and I love to tell stories. It's just so much fun. I think I will just um, add a little bit more olive oil. I don't want it too oily, but then I don't want it dry. Okay, so I'm going to put it in this hot oven uh, at 425 degrees for, we'll start with seven minutes, but I may end up anywhere from eight to ten minutes. So let me set the timer, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, the buzzer went off. I did put it in for another four minutes because it just was not brown enough. Um, and it still doesn't look really roasted enough. Maybe, um, wonder if it's because this is a an electric stove and not gas. Does gas get hotter than electric? I'm gonna roast it about one more minute. But first, I am going to throw in a cup, well, about three-fourths of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Now, you guys don't buy that already shredded because they pack it with preservatives. Keep those preservatives out of your body. So let's uh, stick it back in there, let the cheddar cheese melt, and then we will have a taste test. And I am wearing my bracelet, a Buddha bracelet. No, I'm not Buddha. <laughs> Buddhist. Um. <laughs> Although I probably should practice some of those relaxation techniques. Wouldn't it be great to just, um, and just let all of your cares and worries just float away and leave your brain and your mind and and you just be at peace and restore your health and your serenity and just bring you peace and happiness. I love my bracelet. Zeus brought this back from Asia last year. Thank you for that, I love it. <laughs> so let's go check on this broccoli. I'm dying to taste it and see if it tastes as good as it looks. I think that cheese probably has melted now. Let me check. Y'all, I've been listening to Tom Petty. His best hits album all day. Oh, I miss him so much. I wish all these people would stop dying. I miss Tom Petty. I miss Prince. I just miss everybody so much. Okay, y'all, look at here at this broccoli. Isn't it beautiful? Let me go ahead and plate it and taste it. I will heat up my shrimp that I have left over. I'll have a nice, delicious, and healthy dinner. My food tastes better. <laughs> Jean, Jean Avon, Gina, I don't know your real name because your, your screen name may not be your name. But my food sure tastes much better on these beautiful plates from Pioneer Woman. Thank you for that. Y'all, I don't waste any of my broccoli. See, I even cut up the stalks <laughs> and eat them too. You got to make use of every single thing nowadays because... Everything has either doubled or tripled in price over the last six months. But y'all don't get des you know, des desperate or feeling destitute or depressed over it. We'll get through this. Look at what our um, grandparents and great-grandparents went through. The Great Depression, you know, there was nothing. They had to stand in long lines just to get a loaf of bread. So we will weather this. We're going to weather it together. And uh, just don't let it get you down and depressed. That's not going to help a thing. It's just going to make everything worse. Mmm. Can you hear the crunch? Mmm. -mm. Now it will definitely be better if you use the pink of breadcrumbs. Ooh. Lordy, <laughs> I got a little heavy handed on those red pepper plates. It's hot. <laughs> red, red pepper plates. <laughs> Look how nice and clean my living room is. I've trimmed all the dead leaves off my plants and watered them. <laughs> now I gotta get over there and clean off that bar. That bar seems to be a catch all for everything. <laughs> 
Mmm, this is so good, y'all. You gotta make this simple, easy, and delicious recipe. But be a little more light-handed on the red pepper flakes or leave them off altogether. I'll leave the recipe in the description below. And the link for the salad spinner and for this cute little modern set of ceramic knives. So y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and y'all just keep on coming back. Good night, guys.